Welcome ladies and gentlemen, first of all species, welcome back to Danganronpa. Now we have just received a motive video, we, everyone freaked out, and now it's night time and someone's at our door, so let's see what's going on. Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? So Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Makoto. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room. And all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone tr was trying to force the door open. My door was locked so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while it just stopped. I let some time go by and then I got up and opened the door to check outside. But there was no one there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of everyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. But... But that's just a promise me we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Hey. Huh? What? All it said, all it, yeah, all it said is in the school regulations that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't spe state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so but two people sharing one room is, you know. Ah. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> sure you didn't. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. It crossed mine. Uh, um. I know. Me neither. It's not even like I mind the idea, but... What? What? She, she's down. She's feeling you, boy. Let's pounce on this, man. Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms? Just for tonight. Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then that's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... Oh, there it is. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'd head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. <laughs> That's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh? You aren't gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile made its way onto her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we'd better trace keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys and then I looked back up at her again. There is another word expression there. Uh, um, Makoto, please be careful. What if someone comes to the door? Don't open it, no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you two, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? 
Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that, and the door should open with no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during the nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I'd better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. Huh? <laughs> when I said I'm psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Sayaka gave me one last parting smile and I headed off to my room. So no head? I looked around as soon as I got into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed and there was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Just making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. If I remember right, all the pri girls' private bathrooms have locks in them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. Oh, I'm trying to get to the trash can. I'm not sure she might have had some weird thing. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash can, but I couldn't help but take a quick peek. That's... There wasn't any doubt. It was the DVD with her name on it that we had found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never got the chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait till she brings it up again. Is there any, like, s secret we're supposed to know? My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka had a sewing kit, just like the note said. Next to it is a map of the body's vital organs. Ooh, that's lovely. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Boy! <laughs> Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. And the lovely Monokuma Theater. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've had it, heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've even set sail and Earth left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. But if I'm on it, then yeah, you have to worry about pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthmatic inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But even in our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny little piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules, and I've hoped I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Wait, is he saying we're in outer space right now? I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. S I slowly pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way towards the dining hall. I 
few people had already gathered the, er, gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. Hello, Makoto, and good morning! Can you believe it? I was very first one here this morning! <laughs> good morning! Morning! I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high school student, high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late... Yo. Yeah. Sorry, my makeup just would not cooperate this morning. My apologies, well, lady and gentlemen. My morning uh, duty took a longer than usual. Ugh. We're the typical- we're the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers will fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone writing forever. I suppose I'm late. Good morning, everyone. My bad. Slept straight through my alarm. Wh what Is it so awful to be late? I didn't know to sleep, just so you know. Nope, I got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. I swear, I don't know what he is on, but I want it so desperately. I don't care about time or other people in general. They're just the kind to move at their own fa pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least, that's how it was supposed to go. Yeah. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Yeah, Sayaka and Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but... I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be late... What? What's going... What's going on? Did something happen? Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? Why would I have? I came just straight from my room to here. Did she per did she forget about her breakfast promise? I got the same sense. I got the sense she ha she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck of unease started to grow quickly. I need to go. I have to check on her. The words barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd left Sayaka to s let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of one night, oh my god, the room had completely transformed. What the hell? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's slashes and gouges in the wall and floor. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Shit, is she in there? I'd better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. Oh my god, oh my god. Shit just got real, people. It took me a second to realize I was screaming. Oh my god, oh my god, look, oh my god. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and burned itself into my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. Did we, did we faint? When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. When I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Do we just pass out all the time in this damn game? Ah, uh, you're awake! Finally! Like, are you okay? No time for sleeping! Get your ass up! Huh? You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Oh, I... The wrong voice. No surprise considering what happened. What happened? Hey, are you like okay? 
So it wasn't a dream. What I saw, it was real? <laughs> That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka, if Sayaka is. You can off. check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and invocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Listen to us, man. What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? What good is it just gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in a gym at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she's... She's dead! Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. What's that behind her? It, it looks like a three and a seven. Calm down. None of us want to... Uh, none of us want to be here right now, either. Then why? Sh should it be obvious? Mahakuma told us to all... Come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But... So... I am... I am the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka! Wrong. I would never do that! If you can believe anything, you can believe that! <laughs> he's here again! Unless someone violates a school regulation, I will absolutely not interfere! I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world, following the what the bear of times one rule. Then, but then who did it? Who killed her? You on. already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka. Don't be stupid. That's. Hmm? What's the matter? You all guys look like you're about to see a dog get shot with a Gatling gun. Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. Nothing wrong with that. You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Nope. Sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. Then if they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Are you serious? Someone, someone's killed someone? <laughs> it is, it is amazing what some people are capable of. Hey, hold on, don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. <laughs> if one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Come Don't on. play dumb, that's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz. Naive! You're just so naive! You really think it's that easy? You could just kill someone and what's right out of here? You're super naive! Devilishly naive! Hellishly naive! No, no, no! The real thing has just begun! The, 
real thing? Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation! Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement that you have to uphold. Remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to the rule number six of the school regulations. If you're the blacken that commits the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words, Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone! You have to actually get away with it! Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it has got... It's been gotten away with! A so a certain amount of time will begin after each murder has taken place! A class trial will begin! A class trial? Yep! It'll begin in a few hours after the murder! Everyone will gather together, including the Black End who committed the murder! And then the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown! During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Black End is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote! If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive! And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Oh shit, so if we guess wrong, we get killed. Oh no. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. So um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Oh well to put it simply. Execution! Execution? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, so to make sure I understand... If we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, the rest of us gets executed? What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be... You'll decide who you think the killer is! But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line! Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook! Make sure to keep it in mind! The new rule had been added to the regulations menu. Wait, hold on a second! You're freaking insane, you know that? Hmm? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What are you saying? You're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy! What? Punishment? I might, I don't know, throw you into a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want, but I'm not gonna be part of this! I don't, believe it. don't be so selfish! You're the one being selfish! Kill whoever you want, it's got nothing to do with me! The evil standing here before me! I'm trembling with fear! But I won't give in to such evil! It's my style to stick it out to! 
stick it out and resist to the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Oh no, is she gonna get killed? Oh. Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! Oh no. I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me! Oh my god! 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 This wasn't supposed to by me. Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot open wide. And just like that, she never moved again. Oh my god, this has gotten way too real, way too fast. What the? I don't. This can't be real! No way! Now I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a, pro of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? But I guess all you needed to be taught a lesson. After all, ah, oh, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I've ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd just seen. Junko, until just a second ago, had been our friend was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. It's really not all that shocking. She just died. That's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. This isn't your superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality! Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? I changed my mind. No, you've been waiting to kill this entire time. Kill this entire time? Don't be silly! You can't kill time! You are... are you, or are you being metaphorical? Are what you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on! What do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you search for the Blackened. This little file has all of the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it. It's the Monokuma file. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do as much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance camera picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then. S wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka. Of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial. Now could I? 
that's fair. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's, de Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet... In such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now is no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous, the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone. What? Huh? Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. Conti continuing to think about and talk about the sea certainly isn't going to help anything. Saying stuff like that is... is just... How many times I have I told you, anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. If that happens, you only have yourself to blame. What an awful thing to like say, especially after what's just happened. Just a right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. We just have to do it, I guess. Like, what other choice do we have? No way in hell am I letting someone kill me! Alright, damn it! Let's do this! We just have to do it. Everyone keeps repeating that sentiment. They were all using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do it, this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what it, we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why sh had she... Why she had to be the one? I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I know... I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Oh, shit. Well, shit just got real, man. Uh, we're gonna cut it off here so then we can have the whole episode next time to investigate the murder and, you know, get through the class trial. Now... Oh, shit. The homegirls died. Sayaka and Junko. I really like Junko. She was sassy bitch. I love her. Ugh. What was it? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Whew, I st still kind of processing this. Alright. Well, if you like what you see, please be sure to leave a like and, you know, subscribe so you can see my content in the future. Also, if you have any suggestions for gameplays in the future or just want to leave a comment, go down to the comment section below. I'm Daisy Hyena and I'll catch y'all in the next vid.